This is the world that cannot be seen, felt, experienced or understood with ease. It is the universe of cells and genetic structures of human and animal bodies. However, here lies the core of what makes us live. If that seems like a mystery, one has only to consult India's finest molecular biologist, Professor Obeid Siddiqui of the National Center for Biological Sciences at Bangalore to know what it means. Honored with the Padma Bhushan in 1984, he is one of the very few scientists in India to have carried out path-breaking research in molecular biology, behavior genetics and neurobiology. I mean molecular biology is, is, is not just an area of biology. It's a way of thinking about biology which now has become a part of all biology. So it's biology of animals, plants, microorganisms. Professor Siddiqui's interest in genetics can be traced to his early interest in medicine. He then pursued plant embryology in the late 1940s at the Aligarh Muslim University. It was his uncle who influenced him to take up the subject. I had another teacher, Dr. Riyad Khan, uh, who was very uh, deeply involved in his research on plant embryology and that is how I became interested in uh, embryology. Uh, after I uh, passed in 1953, uh, I did my university degree. Then I actually began to do research with uh, Dr. Riyad Khan and worked with him for a couple of years. I myself then became a lecturer in the university. Taking leave from the university, Professor Siddiqui joined the Indian Agricultural Research Institute to learn more about microbial genetics. Molecular biology and wheat genetics is what interested him further. At the Indian Agricultural Research Institute, uh, I uh, you know, met many Indian geneticists. I worked with uh, uh, a plant geneticist, Dr. Joshi, A.B. Joshi uh, at IARI and uh, we started some work on mapping uh, genes which have to do with resistance to heat rust. Uh, now as it happened at the end of the year when more or less we had finished uh, making the year's work, making crosses, uh, there was a hailstorm and uh, all my experimental crop was destroyed. It was quite a disaster. When this happened, Professor Siddiqui had the option of returning to the university. But on the suggestion of Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, he went to Glasgow to study microbial genetics, where he explored the subject in greater detail. My interest uh, became broader. Uh, around that time, the professor, uh, you know, who was my guy, Ponte Corvo, he had uh, become interested in human genetics and he had proposed uh, the idea that methods of uh, aspergillus genetics could be applied to uh, human cells in culture. In 1961, Professor Siddiqui made his way to the United States. It was an important year because a solution to the genetic code was presented at a symposium at the Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. Professor Siddiqui's interest in genetic codes deepened and he could have continued to work in the US. But he decided to return to India. He therefore accepted an offer made by Dr. Homi Baba to join the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in Mumbai. Beginning of 80s, somehow the idea was sown uh, in Tata Institute that we need to go out of Tata Institute to set up uh, centers in uh, different uh, areas in which the Institute of Institute is active and among the new centers that, uh, that the Institute embarked on was one uh, on biological sciences. This is what you now see as NCBS. As a fine combination of research scholar and academician, 
Professor Sidki's work on the molecular mechanisms of genetic recombination and gene regulation has fetched him the Bhatnagar Prize. For his students, he is a guide, philosopher and friend. The good thing is about him is that he said, don't say that this is because of uh, this process or that process. Whatever process is occurring, you have to prove it by doing some experiment. As a person, uh, I would say that uh, he is very, very, very focused and uh, he, he always has a point to tell uh, amidst of all uh, various kind of things that we keep on giving him as inputs. For Professor Siddiqui, molecular biology is his passion and commitment. But he also has an interesting personal side to his life. sisters lived in in a village in uh, near Banaras called Bhitri. My father was a uh, was a government servant and he moved from one district to another of UP. So we really grew up in various places. We lived in Kanpur and I went to the DAV school, Dhyanand Anglo Vedic school. I remember I had uh, some sort of a lab in my house. But I was interested in other things. I was very interested in photography. I had a dark room. A major element of Professor Sidki's life has been his wife, Asia, whom he met while studying at the Aligad Muslim University. They are of different temperaments and yet have much in common. They are now the proud parents of two sons and two daughters, all of whom have displayed a keen interest in academics. We had similar views, um, I think, on many things. We were both political radicals at the time, and uh, neither of us was particularly religious in the formal sense. Well, I am not a theist in, in the sense that, uh, you know, I don't believe in a kind of a God uh, as a person who's sort of running the affairs of the world. Always been a very devoted father and has always encouraged his children to do what they really wanted to do. Often his sense of humor is directed against himself. I am irritable, I think. Uh, I am quite temperamental. I, can, I lose my temper uh, often and, and that's bad. I, uh, it's especially bad when I am dealing with, uh, with the students. He is very cool mm, and during our lab meets and other things when we discuss things, he maintains very cool of him like we sometimes ask very silly or stupid questions or do some stupidity but he is very cool in that sense. Yes, I am very surprised actually it has not affected my students. I think he likes best the food that his mother used to cook for him. Generally his, what he wears is very informal, he doesn't, doesn't, doesn't like to dress formally. There is nothing more relaxing than to let the strains of Pandit Hariprasad Chaurasya's flute take Professor Siddiqui far from the microscopic world of cells. Most of the time science like all professions is grind hard work, you are trying to do things which don't work, but in the end uh, if something happens which is, which is good, which is what you are trying to do, or it is something which is surprising, it gives you great pleasure. As Shakespeare is, is says, uh, you know, to thine own self be true and it shall follow as the day, the night, that you can't not be false to others. So I am afraid that uh, you have to find your own answer. And, uh, 